Hey guys, it's the Interior Auto Mechanic. Today I'm going to be showing you how to disable the TPMS light on a 2008 through 2011 Ford Focus. There's not a lot of information online about these cars as far as how to do that through uh, 4Scan. There's no way that you can basically disable it without having a 4Scan or taking it to the dealer and seeing if they can disable it. Um, most of the time on the 4Scan stuff that I had looked into, um, there's really no information as far as what the code is or where to find it. Most of the time, what everybody was telling me to do, now I'm in 4Scan, if you're not familiar with that, it's a plug-in uh, USB to OBD2 down here uh, device that allows you to change a few things in your ECU. It's not going to allow you to change a lot, but this is obviously done at your own risk. Um, I'm in no way, shape, or form responsible for anything that would come out of this. Um, I'm just showing it because there is no videos, there's no uh, information really out there. The only thing I actually ran across, I ran a code, and I'll show you that code here in a minute, and somebody had said, oh, this car is similar to a certain year Expedition and the S196 Mustangs. Um, so that's what I went off of to find out what, what I actually needed to do. What I had found online was everybody was saying, when you go into Force Scan, uh, you got all these little tabs over here. Now, I went ahead and purchased the year subscription to it just to be able to make sure I had all my bases covered so I had full access to everything. So, you know, I went ahead and did that. Let me close out of that really quick. One other thing, relink back up. Alright, so now I'm, I'm relinked. Um, I went down here to link, and the reason why I went ahead and bought the year subscription uh, was just because the two month free trial thing, there was limited things on it, and I was thinking, okay, maybe I wasn't getting the full, you know, full package. Um, to be able to go in because everybody showed online just to go to right here you click there and then you come in here hit play this will run and then everybody just had a TPMS um, you know it had like a little thing that said TPMS and then over here it said enabled or disabled and mine doesn't have that so the next best thing that I had to do I actually had to go into the code on the ECU and it's not, it sounds scary, but it's its really not. It's pretty easy. Go back up here. So we're going to go into the gym module right here. That's as built format. Hit the play button. Hit OK. Alright, so this brings up all the Ford codes and whatnot that basically can control different things in your car and the one that I ran just on a whim was this uh, 726-02-01 I just typed that into Google to see if anybody had said anything about it and what it could possibly mean and basically what I found was other people were asking similar questions because again there is no information on this particular car really on how to rewrite any of these codes to do different things Somebody had said that they had found out that the S196 Mustangs and a certain year Expedition was the same. I'll do my best to link that down below um, so you can look at that yourself. So me just thinking, I was like, hey, if that's the same, if they're the same code, then the TPMS code should be the same. And what I found out was if you go to this one right here and just do 0000, 000, 000, 000, 000 what you're going to do is then you're going to hit right. But before I do that, I just want to show what's going on with my car. I've got my TPMS light on there, and then also my dome light keeps flashing. It is the, one of the dumbest features that Ford has. I guess it's maybe to get you pull over if it, if it thinks you have a flat tire, but it's really annoying. Uh, all this car has is just it, we took the TPMS sensors off the tires because they went bad. Um, and we just went with regular old valve stems. So when you do that, you're going to hit right. And 
it's going to tell you, you know, you're changing it, yada, yada, yada. Immediately, lights off. This is just on because my door is open over here. It tells you to um, cycle the ignition key off and back on, so we'll do that real quick just to make sure it took. And we are good. One other thing I do want to say before you start doing all this, you can do save all, which is right here. Bef that's before you type in any of the numbers or anything. Do this just to be safe. And then all I did was just put stock in front of this name right here. If I get my camera to focus, you can see the file that I saved. That is the stock code for all of these uh, boxes and everything and then you just click save so you have that as a backup uh, on the off chance that the 0000000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000 doesn't work um, that way you know if it doesn't work or if it screws something up you can always go right back to it because once you lose these numbers you don't get them back now you can go back in and like I said you can type all this stuff back in um, if you had saved it but I'll just show you what I'm talking about so if I load and hit load all, this is my stock map. Go over here to OK. Operation complete. OK. So we loaded them all. Now we need to write all of them. And what that means is any of the changes that were done before, it's loading back to the other style. And you can see we've got our TPMS light right back and our flashing dome light right back. So, in order to, tells me to cycle the key for all this to save. Now, you're probably asking, why would I want to save this code? And everybody's code's different. So, your code might, from what I understand, your code is, might be different than what mine is right here. The reason you want to save this is if you do want to go back to the TPMS uh, sensors at all, if you decide, hey, you want to put them back on your car, for whatever reason, um, you can do that and that's not a big issue at all. You can just go back, punch the other code in, or upload the other code, and it's right back to normal. So we are gonna rewrite this one, though, back to what it was before. Like I said, instantaneously, that lights off, tells me to cycle the key. And we're good. So like I said, just cover your bases, make sure that you do have a backup saved, just on the off chance that um, you do ever want to change it back or the next owner wants to, you can send them that, um, you can send them the codes or whatever if you really wanted to, but chances are in a vehicle this old, nobody's going to be switching them back. They're just wanting the cheapest option so that they don't have to worry about this. Like I said, we took ours off. This is going to end up being probably my mom's car just to drive, so it's not going to matter. Obviously, we can keep an eye on the tire pressure ourselves, and we don't need a sensor to tell us the tire's flat. Uh, but anyway, hopefully that helps. I don't know as far as the other codes for the S196 Mustang goes. If you need to rewrite other stuff, um, I don't know on that. So that's going to have to be something that you'll probably look into. I'm sure I'll probably get questions on the video as far as how to rewrite stuff. Like I said, um, I will link the form discussion that I found on the S196 codes and then also on the Expedition codes down below. And hopefully that helps somebody because this was a huge help for me. And uh, yeah, like I said, hopefully that way you don't have to drive around with your dome light flashing. Anyway, uh, I'm going to end the video here. Thanks so much and have a great day and good luck on your project.